Good morning. Welcome to my blog, Wisdom for Today. And I hope that you're finding respite or you're recovering from your celebration of Christmas and Advent. Now, in the Christian calendar, there's three seasons of Christmas. I know that the world just has one build up to one celebration of Christmas, but we have three parts to it. And the first part is called um, Advent, where we seek to prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus in our life. And we contemplate what needs to get in order before we welcome Christ in our life. The second part traditionally was known as the 12 days of Christmas. And that's when you celebrate that God incarnate came to earth to have fellowship with us. But the last celebration is called the celebration of Epiphany. Now, if you look up Epiphany in the dictionary, you will find a definition, the first two definitions to refer to the Christian celebration. But the third definition I want to focus on the third definition says this, that epiphany is a moment of sudden revelation or insight. When someone says, I had an epiphany. Now, we express it differently in the 21st century, maybe because of Oprah Winfrey. We now say, I had an aha moment. That's the same thing as saying I had an epiphany. I had an awakening. Suddenly, I realized something that was really important to me. Now, in epiphany, we have um, two characters. The first character, two groups of characters. We have the wise men who um, Orthodox Christianity believes were the first Gentiles, probably the Medes, to come to faith in Jesus Christ. And then we have King Herod. King Herod's an interesting person. He tries to deceive the wise men to bring the Christ child back to him so he may worship him. And when he realizes that they're not going to do that because an angel warned them on the way, he slaughters innocent children. Now this whole narrative is found in Matthew 2. So what's the epiphany in this passage? What's the aha moment in this passage? I think the aha moment is this, that some seek to serve Jesus Christ, to worship him, even those who don't, don't even have any background in Christianity or in Judaism. Somehow something inside them said, I need to seek out this Messiah. And when they see him, they do him honor. And some seek to destroy Christ. They do so out of fear, out of the loss of their own kingdom. And when they do so, other people suffer. Innocence suffers when people contend with Christ. There's another passage, it's in the lectionary about Epiphany that I wanna to read to you. And this is more capturing the idea that it's a sudden revelation it's found in Isaiah 60, 1 through 6. In fact, we used it as a call to worship this last Sunday. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and a thick darkness all the peoples. But the Lord will rise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. And the nations will come to your light, kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see them gather. They come together. They shall come from afar. Now this is an interesting scripture because it says a couple things to us. That there is darkness in this earth, which kind of covers the idea of the innocence that was slaughtered on that first Christmas. But it also talks about that our glory will be seen throughout all the earth. I want to tell you that in the Greek and in the Hebrew, the word nations means ethnos. It means people groups. So as opposed to all the nations, as in nation states come to you, all the people groups will come to you. And that's the message that Jesus Christ has for us. He's just not for one ethnicity or one people group. He's just not for one um, society or culture. Jesus penetrates every culture. And when he comes, he brings peace in people's heart and love and joy. On the converse, people who reject him and fight against him bring chaos and horror. As Christians, we understand we've received that peace. And my prayer is that you would open your heart to it again and you'd let your light so shine so all people groups can hear the hope that lies within you. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. God's blessings and have a good day.